So one of the things that actually stops SMA owners out there from signing clients from abroad is the fact that they can't meet with their prospects face to face. Personally, I'm actually going to go ahead and release a separate video all about basically my opinion on signing clients and building an agency both locally and globally where, you know, countries and borders holds no limitation to your agency. You know, you can literally look all across the world for clients. But for this video exclusively, let's talk about offline versus online meetings. Now, before we get into today's video, I am repping Gadgi. There's a link down in the description to go ahead and pick up the current season's lineup. Now, by the time that this video comes out, to be honest, I don't even know if this shirt will still be in stock. After a bunch of restocks, the private victory is now out of stock and done forever. And we only have the dreams they said we couldn't, so we did, and the youth never satisfied hoodie. And season two is soon coming, so this will not be available anymore, or potentially by the time that you watch this, it'll already be season two and this will be long gone. But either way, don't make the same mistake that plenty of others did, which is thinking, I'll buy it in a couple weeks or a month or two. Because at Gadget, we have a season model. So, I mean, that's what it is. We launch a season, we might do a restock or two. And then after that, it's gone forever. So go ahead and see what lineup we have at the moment. Now, the tides of business are changing quite quickly. If you haven't noticed, you know, 10 years ago, maybe even five years ago, it would be abhorrent. It would be out of the question to even think that you would sign a client and not meet with them face to face in order to make Make that happen. Whereas these days, it's actually pretty common. And depending on the industry, the balance is shifting where it mainly you're signing clients without ever having met them. In fact, the person who's been working for me the longest, my media buyer at IG Media, Danny, for two years, he was working for me and I had never met him face to face. He lives all the way out in Colombia. So think about this, you know, this isn't just some small paid little contractor. This is a very well paid full-time employee that for two years, I had never met in person until we met, I believe it was in July of 2019. In fact, this year I'm expanding my team quite quickly for the education company. In fact, in the past month alone, I brought on two new team members and these team members are there basically to make sure that our students are getting even crazier results. So we have a new student success manager as well as a student integration manager. Both of them have never met in person, funnily enough. And for me, that really doesn't phase me whatsoever. And that should really illustrate the point that not only from a perspective of being able to do business with someone without having ever met them face to face, also from an employment perspective, like we live in this freelance economy, this global economy, where, as I said, you know, countries and boundaries really don't hold the same sort of weight that they used to five, 10 years ago. But let's get into what you actually came here for, which is offline versus online meetings. Because at the end of the day, I've just shown you that you can sign clients through online meetings, online video conferences, but just because you can doesn't mean you should. Now, right before that, can you quickly go ahead and press the like button on this video? We are trying to get to 300,000 subscribers this year and we are growing at crazy pace. And that is all thanks to you guys for showing so much love in the comments, pressing the like button. I know a lot of you guys share these videos with friends and family as well too. But look, let's start with the benefits of offline. Now, first things first is the benefits of offline is I feel as though there's a little more trust that's built because at the end of the day, you are looking someone directly in the eyes and social media marketing isn't a cheap service. It's not like you're getting someone to create a logo on, on Fiverr or Upwork. You are working with this business on a month by month basis. You know, some of your agency clients you might be working with for six months, 12 months, 18 months, 24 months, 36 months, hell, even five years. So there is something to be said about meeting face to face with a person and just, and I say that more from the perspective of the business owner, because quite frankly, for me as the service provider, I don't need to look at a business owner in the eye to know whether I want to work with them. I can know that based on the conversation we have, based on the health of their business, based on the potential of their business to scale and grow. Now, the second benefit of offline meetings, of in-person meetings, is you actually get to spend more time together. Now, when you are doing higher ticket sales, look, you don't want to drag on a meeting forever and ever, but just generally, you can kind of build a bit more rapport when you're face to face. Like, you know, I remember in 2017, I actually signed a lot of clients out in Holland and it's like, you sit down, you have a coffee before the meeting even starts, like one full coffee, you have your meeting and then it's like midway through the meeting, it's a coffee break. Basically with all that being said, most meetings there end up dragging on for like an hour, hour and a half. And you've had four coffees by the time you've left, it's, it's nuts. While that absolutely kills me because I, I hate inefficiency, like any ounce of inefficiency, like it just eats me alive. While that is the case, having that extended period of time with someone, it does build back to point number one, it builds that trust, it builds that rapport. And you know, it's just the more time you spend with someone, the more you, you like, you trust, 
and you feel comfortable with that person. And I think that's obviously very important when you're a service provider that's working month by month and still, you know, relatively expensive. The last benefit of offline meetings of in-person meetings is I think there's more ways you can make an impression uh, based on your body language. Like obviously if you're doing a Zoom call, yes, you you know, you, you, you've got your hands and you've got your body language and, and this and that. But I think, you know, everything from the way that you walk to the way that you dress to the way that just, you know, all of the, the sub communication, there's more that you can do there because when you're having a face to face meeting, you can actually use that to your advantage. So for me in my journey, the first 18 ish months of having an agency, pretty much 80 to 90% were all in person. So, you know, this is coming from dozens and dozens of client meetings face to face in the trenches. And it was around mid 2018 that I made the full transition to only online meetings. So I have all my meetings on zoom and that's a good leeway into the next part of this video, which is what are the benefits of an online, for example, zoom conference. You can also do it via Skype, but I just like zoom the best. First things first, it is time efficient because you don't have that kind of like awkward, you know, you might have you know, two, three minutes of chatter at the beginning, but you know, it's not that five, 10, 15 minutes, which I usually find, which is like, you know, say you're, you're having a meeting with a potential business owner at a coffee store, you know, rather than their actual branch, or even if you're at their branch, as I said, you know, they're going to ask you, do you want a coffee? Coffee, do you want this? It just takes a bit of time to settle in, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Whereas with an online meeting, it's just everyone knows the intent and the purpose there, and you can kind of skip some of the niceties uh, that. I believe that's the word niceties. You know, you can kind of skip some of the more formal uh, things that you need to do uh, in an offline meeting, as I said. Now, the next benefit of having an online meeting is you can record it. And the reason that that is so beneficial is number one for the fact that you can look back at it and you know, you, you can keep replaying it. You know, the best sportsmen and the best uh, athletes on earth, not only are they giving it their all in practice, they're giving it their all on the pitch or on the court or on the field, whatever, but they're also studying their tapes in intense detail. And that is the same way you should go about things when you're having what people call online meetings, discovery calls, uh, strategy sessions. But at the end of the day, the, the brass tacks of it, the core of it is it's a sales call. So you should be studying your recorded sales calls and you know just cross examining just every single thing that you could have done better in that process. That's number one, obviously for your benefit. Number two, and actually both of them are for your benefit. But number two, you know, is I always tell clients because at the end of the day, in my opinion, just ethically, it's important to tell your clients that you're recording it. Now on zoom, it literally says at the top left, like recording. So it's not like you're hiding it or anything like that. I tell my clients going into it just before I start the meeting, I'm like, hey, do you see a uh, top left? It says recording. And they're like, yeah, I'm like, yeah. So I record every single call and that's actually for your benefit. Right after this meeting, sometimes there are other people involved in the decision. Sometimes you just want to watch over the recording, but nonetheless, I do a recording and I send this directly to you after a call just as a precaution. And I've never had a client be like, no, you can't record it. Now, another thing is I don't want them thinking that, oh, we're going to have multiple calls. Like I'm going to send you a recording and then maybe we'll jump on another call, blah, blah. So I do that. You know, I have my small chat. I say that. And then I also set the frame and the intention and I set the tone of this is how this discovery call is going to go. And at the end, it's going to be a black or white. Would you like to move forward or not? Now, I don't phrase it as harshly as that. But anyways, you, you get the gist. Now, for me, the next benefit of online meetings is actually the fact that you can share your screen. And I know you can kind of like tilt your screen around when you're doing an offline meeting as well. But you can share your screen and you can just very diligently have your tabs ready. And it just, things just flow a lot better, in my opinion, when you're doing an online meeting. As I said, you can share your screen, you can stop sharing, you can do a video, you can move on to the next tab, you can go on to whatever your next point is. You know, it just things flow a lot better in an online meeting. And the last point is the fact that you can follow your script much, much more diligently. You know, it's a little weird if you're doing an offline meeting and you know, you have your script in here, but you can't follow it to a T like you could with an online meeting where obviously, you know, when you're not sharing your screen, they don't know what you're looking at. So, you know, your camera will be at the top of your, uh, your computer, your laptop or your monitor or whatever. So, you know, you can have the script kind of like squeezed up. So it's almost right at that top bit. So they could never, ever, ever know or figure out that, Hey, you know, you're still using a script in order to aid you down the sales process. So all in all, what is my opinion for offline versus online meetings? Hands down, online meetings. It was one of those things where I wonder why I never did it earlier. And I think it was that apprehension that, you know, clients care. And I realized they just don't, you know, for a lot of clients, especially if they respect their time, they're happy that we're not doing it in person because they know just how inefficient it is. And they'd rather be able to just pop open their computer and have that exchange online. So, 
you know, for me, hands down, online meetings are by far the winner. Now, one thing that I would say is if you're in your first six months with your agency journey, I think it is actually quite beneficial to do offline in-person meetings simply because I think it just gives you that good reference experience. And I think it's good practice. Do I think that it makes it more likely that you're going to close the sale? No, not at all. And in fact, I genuinely believe that doing online meetings gives you a higher chance of closing the clients because as I said, the frame is so strong, the intention is so strong. They know it's not just like a, oh, let's have a coffee or whatever. Like it's it's a very, there's a clear intent to the call. You can have a better flow in regards to the call. And just all in all, I, I think the chances of you signing a client are a lot higher when you're doing it online via Zoom, for example. But if you're within your first six months, go out there, meet clients face to face, interact with them. I think, you know, it really, really is so, so invaluable. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comments, what do you think in your opinion are online or offline meetings better? What's worked best for you in the past? We'd love to hear your opinion. And uh, as I said, I appreciate all you guys for dropping a like on this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.